Okay. Hey everyone, PhD Natural Me, and I am making cauliflower crusted pizza deep dish style. And here are all the ingredients that I'll be using besides the Maxwell House and the coffee. Okay, I started with cauliflower cauliflower crumbles and I put in two cups. You know what I realized? That cauliflower does have a lot of water to it and I will talk about what I did and what I'll do differently with my next cauliflower deep dish style pizza. You can actually buy your own um, head of cauliflower and chop it up yourself but this was just easy that way I didn't have to work out and clean up after chopping up cauliflower when you chop it up in the RV <laughs> seems like it goes everywhere for me all right here's my second cup of cauliflower crumbles hmm. okay and next I'm going to put in some eggs so I have to go get them I don't know why I'm messing with the Italian cheese I looked at that I was getting ready to put it in and I said uh no 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 not yet it smells good Italian seasoning okay just getting it ready going to get those eggs just two of them his first one and here is the second one I was going to use my Vitamix mixer but I changed my mind and decided just to use my handheld mixer because it was less clean up. I try to keep this little area that I have as clear as possible. Underneath that tin is my mushroom based pizza. So good. All right, let's mix it up. cauliflowers cups and one cup of cheese if you look closely you'll see it is kind of watery so what we could have done Italian seasoning is crush up the cauliflower mash it up with the blender and then use cheesecloth or uh, a, a towel to squeeze out the excess water. I didn't think about that because this is my first time actually making it. So I did it differently. You'll see. Actually, ha! I did add another cup of cheese. So two cups of cauliflower, two cups of cheese. Mix well. A little pinch of salt over the shoulder for good luck. <laughs> and a pinch of oil. Okay. Now this is what I do differently. I actually take my parchment paper, I crumble it all up, and then I run water over it. It softens it and it makes it so much more easier to work with. Just squeeze it out, it can be tepid, warm, cool, whatever you like. It will still 
function and do this perfectly into the pan. It goes. If you don't crumble it up, you're, you're going to be fighting with it most of the time. Okay. And now I can put in my mixture, cauliflower, olive oil, salt, cheese, Italian seasoning. So as I'm spreading this out, I'm seeing that it was starting to get a little mushy. Not mushy, but it, you can see the water rising in there and I said that's going to take a long time because I cooked this on my Traeger grill and the Traeger grill uses my um, pellets and so my crust was cooked and smoked all at the same time yum I just cut off the excess parchment paper with scissors because I don't want any extra paper hanging off on the side while I am trying to grill a little bit more oregano, I mean Italian seasoning, and then a little bit more primping. Okay. Now, here's what I did. I took paper towels. I actually used four of them to absorb the excess water or liquid that was piling up into the pan. So I used four of these and this is how I actually pressed it out and kept its shape. And it worked very well. And then I just flipped that over and absorbed more. Here is my mushroom pizza and the cauliflower crust that I'm getting ready to cook. And here is the crust when it is cooked. Oh, I had to show you my mushroom pizza all cooked with pork rinds. <laughs> okay, and here is my cauliflower crust. Okay, what I did I don't know why I was poking it. I was thinking I was going to do something differently. So I took a paper towel. I took the pan off and I pulled off the parchment paper. See how it's deep dish style? It holds that shape. What I did here, I sat it down so I can get a, another paper towel and wipe out the excess moisture that was in the pan so that it's not like bubbling or boiling type cooking on the crust. I wanted it to be a little bit cook a little crisp on the bottom. Even though it didn't turn out that way, it turned out that way. So here it is back in the pan. See it holds its nice shape. There's my deep dish without the ingredients. Next, I grab my classic pizza sauce, New York style, and for a quarter of a cup, it has a total of three carbs, which is wonderful, and it worked very well for this crust. This can serve four people. If you're really hungry, it could serve uh, three, maybe even two. This was four servings, so for me. A little more Italian seasoning and you can put on any seasoning that you like if you like a little extra garlic you can put some garlic on there if you like Parmesan you can put some Parmesan other vegetables I just kept it simple since it was, this was my first time making it 
And with my cheese, this was this cheese I used for the other meal there, my mushroom pizza. I ended up getting four cups, so four quarter of a cup. So one whole cup of cheese on the top. So if you divide this into four, you have four, one quarter of a cup, whatever that is on the grams. I think it's, I mean carbs, less than one gram of carbohydrate. All right. My fingers, my pizza. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, looking great. And now the pepperoni. I'm not sure if you've seen any videos where I talk about pepperoni. There are some pepperoni slices that have carbs. So just make sure that you look at the label to know that it's zero carbs. All right, starting to come together. A little more Italian seasoning. And because there was only a little bit of cheese left in there, why not put it on the top? Right? Why not? See my mushroom pizza back there? Yum. That was really good. I was very impressed with that. Serving it with pork rinds. Okay, off to the Traeger grill. I'm gonna stick it on there and voila, it's done. This was the last thing that I did that I really, really love. I melted some butter and I poured it over the top of this pizza. And if you like garlic, you could put some garlic in there and pour that over there. Oh, this just made it wonderful. It was wonderful, actually. It probably would have been wonderful without the butter, but it was wonderful with it. I don't know what I was doing. I was thinking I was going to lift that up. It just came out, literally just came off the trigger. Yes, it does. Self talking to self. <laughs> okay, here it is coming out of the pan. Maybe just a minute later. Let's see how it holds together. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking I was going to cut it right away. Mm -mm, mm -mm, it was too hot. Wait about five minutes. Now that's the crust on the back side. And here is the front and the first chewy, delicious, goodness bite. Thanks for watching.